so we said that it's possible to have um, friendship across generation but um, we have we have to have a common background or common things that we do together like a father and a son all right uh, they have different you know they are in different generate generation but um, the, uh, the father he is always trying to um, to understand his son and makes his son understand him too all right this kind of relationship so that could be a great example of friendship across generation and so what are the advantages and disadvantages of these types of friendship that are across generation the most important uh, thing is sharing experience uh, I, I learn a lot from my father when we are talking about um, maybe if, uh, about anything when he uh, when he uh, when he tells me uh, about um, how can he deal in um, at, uh, he deal at work uh, problems and how can he solve uh, the problem uh, at work um, maybe when he um, when he give when he gi when he gives me advice uh, um, in my social life or uh, how how can I do to uh, to do well uh, in my home and take the responsibility? Actually, uh, this is a, a very a very good um, very good thing that I learned from him, and uh, and also he he he's learning from me <laughs> uh, regarding the technology. <laughs> yeah. So. Um so that's true when you have a father that always gives you pieces of advice all right not advice because it's different pieces of advice because advice is uncountable now all right so we can't say it's like sugar we cannot say uh sugars we say little sugar less sugar and pieces of advice all right Yeah, but there is uh, the noun is advice with C, the verb with S, A, uh, the verb is A D V I S E, the noun A D V I C E. All right, so when you just take the noun, you say pieces of advice. <laughs>